Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Finally, some good news on the injury front for the Springboks with confirmation that two times World Cup winner, World Player of the Year nominee, uh, Chesney Colby, has officially rejoined the squad um, with an eye of being available for the first test against Ireland in July, um, which is fantastic news because uh, we've been losing players left, right, and centre at the moment. Damien Willems, uh, uh, Kurt Lawrence, uh, Kane and Moody, Stephen Kitzoff, Jaden he um, Hendricks are uh, all potentially out of uh, the Island series and, and the like. So losing a lot of players at the moment are, are the Springboks and uh, sweating over the fitness of a few others as well. But Colby is back in the squad where he's currently um, undergoing sort of a rehab program and stuff like that and should hopefully be available uh, for a couple of weeks' time. Uh, before we talk about exactly what the ramifications are, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So, uh, obviously, we've got a first game next week against Wales and uh, a very different squad that has currently been named by Rassi Erasmus, who will be giving his first press conference of the year, uh, latest today, in fact. So, we'll have that update for you very, very soon. Um, so, make sure you keep an eye on the channel for that. Um, however, what we have seen in, in the last few weeks, as, as mentioned, is a lot of injuries. And uh, as a result, we've got potential debuts in waiting next week. And uh, we will be seeing, for example, uh, I think a very different uh, type of 15 that we have seen. For example, in the squad at the moment, the only option of 15 are the likes of Kuhn Horn, Apelita Fassi, for um, example, with, with Colby not available. And next, we're going to see like a Mario Liebach at 15 or a Sasha Feinberg or Mazzulli at 15. Um, so we're not going to see somebody we've seen at 15 in the last few years. Uh, similar in the wings, for example, you know, Marcus Olmo Pimpi, really the only recognized winger who's been playing regularly uh, for the Springboks. He last played last year, um, I think it was against Tonga, uh, where he then had that injury and uh, which ruled him out of the World Cup. Um, but some good news is that Chesney Colby, who was released on Monday, uh, he's got an in a knee injury. And uh, basically, when he was released, they said that he would be seeking sort of a medical exemption and going and seeing a specialist. So he was released on Monday, but has officially rejoined the squad um, as of yesterday, Wednesday. Um, where he will uh, undergo his rehab with the squad as well, which is always positive news because when players are, are out for a while, they don't do rehab with the squad. They do it by themselves or with their unions, for example. Uh, but the press release says that the double, double Rugby World Cup winning Springbok wing Chisholm Colby has rejoined his teammates in Pretoria and will do his rehabilitation under the supervision of the Bach medical staff with an eye on possibly being available for selection for the opening test of the Castle Lager incoming tour against Ireland. Uh, it said that the Box Feast has suffered a knee niggle during the Japanese club season, and after cons consultation with the Box medical team on Sunday, he was released on Monday to seek a specialist opinion. Uh, Colby returned to camp on Wednesday afternoon to follow a rehabilitation program. So obviously, whatever the uh, specialist said um, was was relatively good news um we play against wales on the 22nd of june uh his deadline however will be uh the 6th of july that is the first spring mock game against ireland which means that he'll basically have to be fit by whatever the monday is um so because if the box club policy if you don't train monday you don't get selected in the match 22 on tuesday so there's a bit of a deadline um he'll have what basically effectively about two weeks because he'll need to be uh fit and firing on that first of july um, which is about just over two and a half weeks. So we basically need two and a half, two, two weeks to be back in sort of full training. So well, there's not many more details on regards to exactly what the knee injury is um, and how serious it is, but it's and it's amazing news because we really don't be going into into a Springbok series without, you know, players like Ches and Colby, for example, or without, without already losing a Kurt Lawrence, a Damien Willemse, for example. Uh, you know, we are very short on quite a lot of players at the moment. And whilst we look at our squads and we're still very impressed with the depth that's there, um, and, and I think that, you know, something like Edwin van der Merwe, for me, I cannot wait to see what he's going to do in Springbok Courage. I really rate him. I think he's going to be absolutely superb. You want your best players. You know, that's the whole thing, especially in this series. You want him playing against the best. I think a lot of people are very upset that you're not going to see, like, Damien Willemse versus Hugo Keenan. Uh, Willemse injured Keenan going to the, the, the Island Sevens. Um, because this is, you know, one of the best test series we've seen in recent times. You know, probably as big as that Island versus New Zealand test series uh, all those years ago. We're talking about the two best teams in the world clashing, and you want to have your best players, your superstars available. Uh, but Chisnokobi is an interesting one because he hasn't actually played a lot of rugby for the Springboks uh, when you think of, of how important he's been. And unfortunately for him, you know, injuries has very much uh, hampered his, his Springbok career. He's 30 years old, turns 31 this year. So got a few more years in him, but uh, has played 31 games for the Springboks uh, since making his debut back in 2018, um, which is now about you know, almost six years, five Springbok seasons, really. I suppose you're missing. So four Springbok seasons, um, which should, as you play most of the games, have you over 40 games, close to 50, really, because you play about 12 to 
you know, 12 to 14 games uh, in a season. He has unfortunately not been able to do that. And the injuries have played a very big part in that. But uh, we'll wait and see. Hopefully we'll have confirmation very soon that he is fit and firing and ready to go for the Island Series. If he doesn't make it, though, I want to know, who would you pick on the wing? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.